गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टूडेज इंग्लिश क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोनाउंस द वर्ड्स इन द पोएम और आई हैड रेड यू द पोएम द पोएम नेम वॉज इन इन टाइम ऑफ सिल्वर रेन बाय लैंगस्टन हग्स सो इन दिस क्लास आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल द poem had also said you all that it never rains silver just it is imagination of the poet langston hugs is imagining as the color of the water droplets of rain is in silver color so what happens in rainy season that is what is discussed in this poem in india you know that just before the rainy season starts it is summer season and what happens in the summer season due to lot of heat or because the climate is hot the trees they dry the leaves dry and the leaves fall down or maybe some trees they die some plants die because of lack of water in delhi and all people die because of heat because of sun stroke they can't handle the heat of the sun and because of that in the body the water quantity reduces dehydration and then people die so in summer season the plants they lag water they don't have sufficient water and then rainy season starts and once rainy season starts all these plants and trees which have dried they get they get new life they had dried they, they had become brown in color now they start becoming green in color because they have got sufficient water sufficient minerals whatever is required for the growth of the plants they are getting that in the time of rainy season so what happens here the poet is telling as in time of silver rain that is during this rainy season the earth put puts forth new life again so what does earth do it puts forth new life puts forth new life means it gives new life to the plants which had dried and then green grasses start growing you might have all seen when rainy season starts everywhere where there is just mud you can see small small grasses start growing and in fields where crops are there weeds weeds start growing and then there are workers to take off this weeds because weeds don't allow the nutrients or the minerals which are required for the crops to grow to get insufficient they absorb all those minerals towards themselves and then those crops don't get the minerals so we have to take out this weeds so that we get proper crops so green grasses start growing and flowers lift their heads so when this flower or you have showcase tr- plants right small small they are having different types of flowers they give us red color blue color yellow color pink color so what happens these trees or this show plants which had dried in summer season now they have got back the life and they have started generating new flower buds and this flower buds they bloom and then they give us flowers so they lift their heads and over all the plain the wonder spreads of life of life of life so in the plain area wherever there was nothing it was completely dry it was looking just brown in color now because of this rain on that mountain plains 
what has happened small plants have grown and those small plants they have got a new life the wonder spreads of life of life and of life so new life has come into existence on this earth because of rainy season or because of rain this is first stanza now second stanza in time of silver rain the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry and trees put forth new life sorry new leaves to sing in joy beneath the sky as down the road way passing boys and girls go singing too in time of silver rain when spring and life are new so what happens again in this rainy season so in the first stanza we saw that grass has grown on the plain also small plants have grown they have come to life and also this show plants and all they are bearing the flowers they have got flowers now when flowers are present you all know right butterflies will come because they get attracted towards the colors of the flowers and then honey bees come because they want to suck the nectar and that is their food so now what happens in this rainy season the butterflies lift their silken wings you might have seen different color different butterflies one is shown on the cover of the textbook itself so those are called as butterflies so butterflies when they see this colorful flowers they get attracted and they come and this butterflies they are having wings right two wings are there and the life span of this butterflies around 15 to 20 days after 15 to 20 days they die so this butterflies they are having silken wings if you have touched the wings of this butterflies you feel they are very smooth and they are having colors and that colors they get stuck to your fingers also so when you catch this butterfly and when you leave it you can see that there is some color on your fingers left so this butterfly is lift their silken wings to catch a rainbow cry it is just the imagination that this butterflies are flying and because of this rain what has happened there has there is a rainbow in the sky when does rainbow come you all know you might have studied in science when there is sunlight as well as it is raining when both the things occur at the same time that is it is there is a sunlight and as well as it is raining then only you can see the rainbow there are seven colors in the rainbow you might have studied vib gyor so what this poet is imagining as it is raining and then this butterflies are flying and they are trying to reach the rainbow they are trying to catch this rainbow and trees put forth new leaves to sing so like i said in rainy season the trees the new leaves start to grow on the trees that is what the author is saying the poet is saying the and trees put forth new leaves to sing so new leaves start to grow and in the rainy season wind also blows and then these leaves move here and there so when the leaves move here and there some sound comes right rustling of the leaves that the author is saying the poet is saying as they are singing in joy beneath the sky as down the roadway passing boys and girls go singing too so this plants and all are they present in the sky no right they are present on the earth on the ground they are present and they are getting all the minerals from the soil so the poet is saying in joy beneath the sky beneath the sky means below the sky on the earth so all this is happening on the ground and on the ground what another thing is happening the school boys and girls the school has left and they are going to their home singing the songs they are enjoying the rainy season they are stamping on the water which is logged on the roads you people also do right you wear chappals and you go and stamp on the water and then the water spreads everywhere you feel happy and your legs become muddy 
so here this boys and girls also from the school or maybe they have went to play somewhere and now they are going back to their home and they are enjoying the climate and they are singing the songs and all so in time of silver rain when spring and life are new so what happens in the rainy season when spring and life are new everything is new everywhere it is greenery that is new life that is the end of this poem i hope you all have understood this poem now coming to the workshop rhyming words they have said us to find the rhyming words from this poem so i'll be telling you the rhyming words and i want you all to write this in your notebook all the rhyming words should be written in your notebook that is question number 1 and after that i also want you all to write this question number 5 question number 1 question number 5 and question number 7 they have said us to write about seasonal rains in india and other countries rains in countries like uk which experience spring summer autumn winter they are having this seasons so you have to write about this about each i want you all to write five five lines on each season in india and about the other seasons which are given in uk five five lines and then question number 8 talk about your favorite season so i don't want you all to talk here i want you all to write 10 lines on your favorite season and then also question number 9 will be discussing and i want you all to write question number 9 also i'll be telling you so question number 1 rhyming words which are the rhyming words rain again then next heads spreads next cry sky i think that is it only these many rhyming words are present in this poem which is rain again heads spreads cry sky you can also write wings sings there it is given sing but if you write it as sings then that is also going to become a rhyming word so these all are the rhyming words and then next question number 5 i said you all you have to fill this in time of rain when spring and life are new just go through the poem you will get each and every word there in time of rain when spring and life are new the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry and trees put forth new leaves to sing in joy beneath the sky as singing boys and girls too go singing down the roadway so we have completed all the blanks now coming to question number 9 what is alliteration when the same sound occurs at the beginning of two or more words in the same line it is called as alliteration so you might get confused by hearing this definition when the same sound occurs at the beginning of two or more words in the same line it is called as alliteration simple thing to remember i'll just tell you one sentence one whole sentence is there and each word in that sentence starts with the same alphabet then it is called as alliteration just remember the whole sentence in that whole sentence two or more words they are having the same letter and that word starts with the same letter then it is called as alliteration example they have given nayana needs new notebooks just see the sentence all the four words are starting with the same letter n nayana needs new notebooks n n n 
n then it is called as alliteration now they have said you to find the example from the poem you can all see their fourth line green grasses grow g g g so it is an alliteration if there is any other alliteration you can find but as far as i can see there is no other alliteration present in this poem so next they have said us to collect other examples of alliteration so other examples i'll just tell you world wide web world w o r l d world wide web w w w live long life l i v e live long life l l l sita sing song s s s so i want you all to find the similar words we start with the same letter make a sentence and each word should start with the same letter i want you all to write five examples on alliteration apart from what i have said you that is the end of this lesson i want you all to write this question answers in your english notebook in cursive handwriting thank you